I recently purchased off Amazon five different models of the Samsung micro SD cards, and I'm going to tell you today what the best micro SD card is for your device. Stick around because you know what time it is. Firstly, why did I go with all Samsung micro SD cards? Simple. It's because they produce some of the highest quality memory in the world, unlike their batteries. Let's get stuck into it. I ran benchmarks across all five Samsung micro SD cards and you can see those results up here or down in the description below. Now after running those benchmarks, I can tell you the best Samsung memory card to use for your device. Scenario one. You're a YouTuber or videographer who wants to shoot on their smartphone, video camera or digital SLR. This means that write speeds aren't 100% important. So if that's the case, the memory card to go for here is the Samsung Evo Plus. Rated with read speeds of up to 80 megabytes per second, this thing will fly when it's copying video files directly back to your computer. One thing to note here, however, is that you will need a fast USB 3 memory card reader if it's not built into your computer or laptop. And that's when I would recommend the Kingston USB 3 media reader. It is probably one of the fastest memory card readers out there available today. Scenario two. So what you're looking to do is take some photos with your digital SLR or your smartphone. And speed isn't really that important because photos aren't that big. So the logical choice here is the Samsung Evo. Rated at read speeds of up to 48 megabytes per second, this memory card is perfect for transferring photos to your computer. Scenario number three. If you're going to be shooting 4K video on your smartphone, digital SLR or video camera, then you need really fast write speeds. Now you could go with the fastest memory cards like the Pro Plus or the Pro Select here. However, when you take into account the price to performance ratio, your best bet here is just the Samsung Pro. Now the most important thing here is the write speeds and this card is rated for writing at up to 80 megabytes per second, which is more than capable of writing 4K video. The Pro Plus model is capable of writing at up to speeds of 90 megabytes per second. However, when you take into account the extra 30% you're paying for the Pro Plus model, it isn't worth the extra 10 megabytes per second that you'll get. Scenario number four. So you've got a modern tablet or laptop and you want to give it a little bit of extra storage without upgrading the internal components. Well, that's when I'd recommend the Samsung Pro Select model. Rated with write speeds of up to 90 megabytes per second, this micro SD card will allow you to squeeze a little bit of extra storage out of that device. So what's the point of the Pro Plus then? Well, eventually the Pro Plus will be replaced by the Pro Select models. Both are capable of read speeds of up to 95 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 90 megabytes per second. Why did I go with all micro SD cards here instead of full size SD cards? Good question. And I've answered that in this video here. The top three reasons why you should only choose micro SD cards from now on. Check it out. And lastly, all these Samsung micro SD cards were purchased by myself. Samsung did not sponsor this video. They didn't even give me any of these cards. If you would like to purchase these for yourself though, I've left links down in the description below. That's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.